But we begin tonight with the touching tribute to a teenager who lost his life trying to save another. Good evening and welcome to 7 Action News at 11. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. The Royal Oak High School sophomore drowned attempting to rescue his cousin from a frozen pond. 7 Action News reporter Alex Bozarjian shows us how his family is building a legacy for their hero. Paul Sanders spent a lot of time on this football field, even during the offseason. His parents say that he loves sports because of the camaraderie and the connection. He was definitely a people person through and through, and that's why his presence is so sorely missed. Get a ball! Get a ball! Number 24 with the tackle. That's Paul Sanders living his best life on the football field. His parents say he always knew how to have fun. The ups, the downs, he loved everything about any team sport. That's just his personality. Jessica Sanders says there is one thing Paul put above sports. His favorite thing to do, honestly, was to spend time with family. Happy birthday to you. His birthday, holidays, he's always the one. When are, when are we going to go see this side of the family? Are they coming over? So it's no surprise Paul and his brothers were the best of friends. <laughs> Paul and Ramal were the closest in age. On New Year's Eve, they went to visit a cousin in Lansing, an annual tradition, according to Jessica. They went on a walk together, and they found what they thought was a frozen pond. And it was a relatively mild day. Um, so unfortunately, his cousin fell in accidentally, and Paul jumped in to try to save him. Then Ramal jumped in to save Paul. He got his brother out of the water, but Paul later died in the hospital. His brother and cousin, thankfully, are OK, but Paul passed away helping someone else, which is totally true to his character. In the Sanders house, Paul is now known as Paul the legend. Jessica and Ishmael are determined to make sure their son leaves a permanent mark. We wanted to help some of the next generation be able to play some of those sports or do some of those activities we did without having to bear huge costs. Their GoFundMe, which will help launch the sports program, already has over $20,000. It's likely something Paul would have done anyways if he was still here on Earth. We're just grateful that we were able to be his parents for, for 15 years, and we'll continue to live off of the great things that he gave us forever. In Royal Oak, I'm Alex Bozarjian for 7 Action News.